Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some more of my CDs and vinyl that I've collected since the last video. Uh, if you want to check out the last video, I'll leave a link to that in the description and the video before that. Um, but yeah, this video I'm going to be showing you guys a couple records and a couple CDs that I've picked up and that I've really liked. And hopefully you can uh, listen to some new music, find out about some new artists. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be starting off with the records. Uh, the first one that I'm going to show you guys is this one. It's called Three Feet High and Rising by De La Soul. This is a great album. Got it on vinyl because you can't buy it on iTunes, not on Spotify. Um, so I bought the records, listened to it. I heard it was really good. And it was. This is from 1989, this one. And... Um, Kind of similar to a Tripod Quest, if you know what they're like, but this is before they put out their stuff. Uh, 1989, they're actually featured on uh, one of the songs in here called Buddy, which is really good. Um, but yeah, I love the album on this as well. Uh, this is the track listing on the back here, and it comes with a bunch of bonus tracks and um, remixes and things like that, which is cool. So uh, one of the most popular songs on here is uh, Plug Tune, which people would know that's a great song. Also, I Know is a great song on here. Um, Potholes in My Lawn. And it's just kind of like quirky, kind of like simple, uh, kind of playful, playful rap, if you know what I mean. Um, these guys are from East Coast, from New York, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the same as Tribe Called Quest. And uh, yeah, this is a great record. And it actually comes with three records because there's quite a lot of music in this one. They're just in a thing like that. And the record, that's it right there. It's just one of those clear ones. Um, so this was done probably by another company or something like that. It doesn't sound amazing, you know, because it's a uh, quite old album, but, you know, it's still great to listen to. Uh, so that's just the see through thing right there, De La Soul. Nothing too special with the packaging, but as I said, it's a great record. I definitely recommend this one if you can get your hands on it. Next record I'm going to show you is one by Kanye West, uh, it's the only Kanye West record I've got, uh, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Now this is um, a lot of people's, in a lot of people's opinion, their most, their favourite Kanye record. Um, it isn't my favourite, College Dropout is my favourite record, but uh, I thought I had to pick this up because, you know, it looks really cool, that's the album cover right there, and it folds out, it comes with three records. And it folds out like this, and um, yeah, it's pretty cool the way the packaging goes. So this is one of the records, it's just a plain black, um, black album there, white sleeve. It's got some cool art in each one that comes with um, some frameable little poster things as well, which is cool. And it also came with a poster uh, that you can just put up. Get that in there. Oh uh, yeah, my, Be my Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy is a great album. It's got great standout tracks like Power, and one of my favorite tracks on here is uh, Devil in a New Dress. I love that track, it's just you know, amazing. Uh, this album was released in 2010. Um, this just happened after the, the incident he had when he um, went up on stage with uh, Taylor Swift and um, stole the microphone and stuff like that when she got her award and stuff like that uh, which is kind of funny but then after that he went and recorded this album and this was after 808s and Heartbreak where a lot of people thought that you know he was really falling off after that record and uh, a lot of people didn't realize the impact it had later on but he dropped this and it just everybody loved it uh, it's his like breakout record and I think it's a really good listen listen to this one um, yeah, the production on this one is amazing. Production, yeah, is really something on here. The lyrics are really good as well, and uh, great melodies and tunes in here. There's great features. We've got Jay-Z on this, uh, Rick Ross is on here, uh, also Nicki Minaj is on here. Oh, we got John Legend on here as well, and also Bon Iver, and you know, a bunch of people. So this is a great album. I definitely recommend this, but um, yeah, you definitely want to listen to all of Kanye West's other records because there's you know a lot of change in the sound from his first to his most recent album, Life of Pablo. But um, Kanye West, great artist, if you're into rap, you definitely have to check this out. 
Okay, the next record I'm going to show you is one of my favourite records that I've got. It's a Tribe Called Quest, Midnight Marauders. This is their third album that they released and is absolutely amazing. The first album um, was amazing, it had Can I Kick It on it. Second album, The Low End Theory is amazing as well. And this one is my personal favourite out of the three, Midnight Marauders. Um, it contains songs such as Award Tour, which is a big hit for them. Um, I love We Can Get Down, Electric Relaxation as well. Uh, and there's just, you know, The Chase Part 2, uh, God Lives Through on here is amazing as well. I love every track on this album. Um, it came out in the 90s, early 90s. Um, they're from New York and uh, Q-Tip is the main guy from it. We also have Five Dog and we also have Jerobi and Ali Shaheed Muhammad who handles the most of the production on their albums and it's just you know a hip hop group and beats you know throughout this album are amazing and the melodies and um, they each take turns in each song rapping you know a couple, couple bars just about you know it's just like kind of playful rap kind of like De La Soul and not you know really it's not angry hard hitting rap it's kind of you know sit back and it's kind of chill uh, rap like this and this album is just amazing so I definitely recommend this it's a classic album here A Tribe Called Quest check out all their other stuff as well their most recent album in 2016 their last one we got it from here thank you for your service is also amazing as well so A Tribe Called Quest I highly recommend them and I'll show you what the record looks like uh, nothing too special just white sleeve black record right there and it's just the whole album on one record and it's just you know it's just easy to just put this on and it just sounds great it's a classic um it won't let you down this album it's great okay and this next record i'm going to show you is by the r&b group no worries um the group features anderson pack and knowledge uh, and these two, Knowledge has some great music, he handles um, a lot of production, he's done a lot of production, he's worked with Kendrick Lamar and he's released a lot of material, uh, you know, a great, a great producer. And Anderson Pack has albums, Venice, which I haven't heard yet, and Malibu, which I've listened to and it is amazing, you know, it's really groovy, R&B, his vocals, his voice is just amazing. And these two come together on this album by No Worries is their name and it's called Yes Lord and this is a great album it's got a bunch of tracks on here they're just really cool and groovy and they're just amazing on here What More Can I Say is a great song in here Like This, Scared Money, Suede there's so many good songs on this album here I highly recommend this if you've heard Anderson Pack you like him if you like knowledge even if you don't if you're into R&B or that kind of stuff like that this album is absolutely amazing definitely recommend this uh, it's a gatefold there you go that's them in there that is knowledge and that is Anderson Pack and Stone's Throw is their label check it out here it's just got the black sleeve which is nice for a bit of a change and Black on black there, Stone's Throw, and yeah, de highly recommend this. This came out 2016, I believe. You know, looking forward to any music that they're going to be releasing in the future, whether that's Knowledge or Anderson Pack, or them both together with No Worries. So definitely check this out. And yeah, okay, the next album I'm going to be showing you is by Tyler the Creator. It's my second record that I have by him. And this just came out in 2017, last year. It is called Flower Boy. This album is like probably my favorite album from the year. Uh, I love the artwork. I had to go pick up the record. We've got the little bumblebee there. Similar to the CD, it's got that on the inside, on the gatefold. And the record here, it's got the white and the black record. And it's got uh, the bumblebee on there on the inside, and the other one's pink which I thought was really cool. Uh, but yeah, enough about that. The album is absolutely amazing. Hip hop and rap. Tyler produced this whole album himself with the help of other people. It's got features on here such as Frank Ocean, Jaden Smith, uh, Lil Wayne, uh, Estelle, uh, ASAP Rocky as well. So um, 
yeah, Tyler does an amazing job on this album. It's his most personal and most truthful album that he's ever made, and it's my favorite of his in my opinion. He's just really focused on the production and lyrics and melodies. There's so many good songs on here. Uh, Nama Monsash Mr. Lonely was probably my favorite song of the year uh, on this album. So you need to listen to this if you've heard Tyler. Listen to this. Even if you haven't heard Tyler and you've heard you know, some of his previous stuff on Wolf and you thought you know, you're not really into that, definitely check this out. Still a big step in a new direction for him. So yeah, this album's absolutely amazing. You know, it's really personal and truthful and you can tell how he's improved since the last album, Cherry Bomb. You can tell he's really, he's really, he's really put a lot of hard work into this album, you can tell. So this album's amazing, go check it out. Flower Boy by Tyler the Creator. That's all my records I'm gonna be showing you and now I have a couple CDs which I'd like you to check out. Uh, this first one is by Jay-Z and it's The Black Album. Uh, this album was released in 2003, Rockefeller Records. Um, this was, uh, meant to be his last album, they were promoting it as his last album, but he's gone on to release many more after this one, including uh, 444, which I showed you in my previous video. But the Black Album, uh, this is the first Jay-Z album after 444 that I listened to, and um, I'd seen a lot of videos of like studio sessions and stuff like that, and I was interested in how the music was going to turn out, so I picked this up because it's not on, um, you know, it's not on Spotify or something like that. Uh, it, it's not on Spotify, it's only on Tidal, and you can buy it on iTunes, but I thought I may as well get the CD to listen to it. And the Black Album, yeah, this is a really good album. It starts off December 4th, really nice, really good personal song with some amazing strings in the background. What More Can I Say, that's a banger, that's a great song. Kanye West produced a couple songs on here, as well as Timberland, and also Rick Rubin on 99 Problems, which is one of his biggest hits on this album. And uh, also, uh, the Neptunes produced two songs on this album, Change Clothes and Allure. Uh, the Neptunes consisting of Pharrell, Chad Hugo, I'm pretty sure, and maybe another guy. Um, yeah, Change Clothes, that's a great song. Dirt Off, Dirt Off Your Shoulder, produced by Timberland, that's a great song as well. Um, Moment of Clarity is produced by Eminem, and it features Eminem on the song as well, which is really cool. 99 Problems, as I said, that's a great song. Lucifer is a good song produced by Kanye West. Uh, it's got like a cool sample in it. Uh, it's a banger as well. Allure is a song produced by the Neptunes, and that's a really nice, really kind of coming up to the outro. You know, it's like a really, it's like a farewell song type thing. And then the last song in here, my first song, is just like a look back on, you know, how we came up to be, how he is now, and how this is. His last song, but it's gone back to his first song, so uh, yeah, the Black Album, go check this out, Jay-Z, it's all good. Next CD that I got, uh, Dr. Dre, The Chronic, this is a classic, came out in 1995, I uh, heard a lot of people, you know, talking about this, got to listen to it, so I went out and bought the CD, and I'm not disappointed with this one, you know, all the songs on here, they're really cool, and they feature, you know, Snoop Dogg, and you got, uh, he's pretty much on every track on here. Dr. Dre, you know, his raps on here, they're not really, they're not very lyrical, you know, they're not not a huge lyrical content, but it's just really catchy, there's some catchy hooks, there's some, you know, great beats on here, and um, yeah, this is just a classic album, listen to this one. Uh, on the inside, that's a CD there, Dr. Dre right there, I'm sure you would have heard of him, this is his first album, and then he's got 2001, and also Compton, which I need to listen to. Um, but yeah, Dr. Dre The Chronic, it's a classic, go check it out, you won't be disappointed. Next CD I'm showing you is one by Jay-Z, I bought this one recently after I listened to the Black Album. Um, this one is from 2001, this came out um, on 9-11 actually, in 2001. Uh, yeah, The Blueprint, this is Jay's one of, one of his most famous and classic albums. Uh, the Blueprint. It's got great songs on it, like The Ruler's Back, uh, Izzo, Girls, 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 which features Q-Tip as well, uh, from Tribe Called Quest. Uh, Heart of the City, Ain't No Love, we've got uh, Timberland on here producing stuff, we got Just Blaze, we got Kanye West on here producing songs, which is always great. Uh, Renegade featuring Eminem, is produced by Eminem, that's a great song featuring him. 
And the last song on the CD, Blueprint, Mama Loves Me, also has two bonus tracks, um, which are great as well. So yeah, this album has got a couple bangers on it, and it's, the production is amazing, his raps, his flow, and everything on here is great. So you should go and check this out. And I'm looking forward to checking out Jay-Z's other albums as I go on. So the Blueprint, check it out. And the final CD that I'm going to be showing you guys today is Watch the Throne by Jay-Z and Kanye West. Uh, this album came out in 2011. And uh, this was a collaborative album by Jay-Z and Kanye West. Uh, it's very well known. This one has the album art on the front. Pretty cool. And so it looks like on the back. Opens up. CD's got this kind of black wood thing at it. Booklet right here. We got Jay-Z on the inside there. And Kanye there. And uh, some great songs on here. No Church in the Wild is the opening song from it featuring Frank Ocean. He delivers some great vocals on here. Good raps from Jay and Kanye both on this song. Lift Off featuring Beyonce is an amazing song as well. I love that. That's really cool. And Otis is a cool song as well. Um, what else here? Uh, Who Gonna Stop Me is like, you know, there's a lot of EDM kind of tracks on here that they're rapping over really. The production throughout this album sounds very epic and it sounds very big. It's like this big thing happening, like an orchestra or something like that. Um, it sounds like very royal and it sounds... It's very experimental at some times. Some of these songs are experimental and, you know, new sounds and all these weird things. Um, Made in America featuring Frank Gershon, that's a great song as well. And yeah, pretty much, that's some more album art there, and then on the back right there. Uh, yeah, if you're into Kanye West, or you're into Jay-Z, uh, pretty sure you're going to love this album. You know, it's, it's not the best album compared to their solo works, but you know, it's not a bad thing to see how they work together in making an album collaborative. So once again, this is Watch the Throne by Jay-Z and Kanye West. And that is my last CD. I hope you enjoyed this video looking at my vinyl and my CDs. Uh, if you want more of these videos, just let me know. I'm sure I'll be doing another one in the future as my collection updates. And I hope that you found out about some new artists or some new songs that you want to check out. And if so, get into buying CDs and vinyl as well. That would be great. It's just so good having like a physical version of the album and it's good to collect as well. So uh, that's why I thought I'd make these videos so you can check out my experience with them and maybe even do it yourself so yeah thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it leave a like and i'll see you in the next one bye